In Davao, the prisoners who were captured by the Japanese during World War II bravely escaped. Who are they, and how did they carry out their escape? That is what we will find out in Life Amazing Stories. In 1941, the Japanese conquest of the Philippines began during the outbreak of World War II. Their conquest of our country began 10 hours after they attacked Pearl Harbor, one of the most famous war events in world history. Although their force prevailed in our country, our countrymen did not just intimidate. During this war, many guerrillas, or what they call the People's Army, were formed in our country. It was led by our great countrymen, who stand up and facing against the Japanese in order to protect our countrymen against the abusive hands of the Japanese. These groups are silently watching and resisting from all over Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao, and they have nothing to remember but the rights of every Filipino, as well as our peace against the Japanese occupiers. In addition, the United States also sent aid to our country to fight the Japanese opponents under the leadership of Douglas MacArthur. They worked with our countrymen to fight for our independence, but it was not easy because of the number of the force of the Japanese, and some proof of this was that the young man had fallen into the hands of the Japanese after four months of fighting in 1942. Despite the combined strength of Filipinos and American soldiers like William Dias, Dias was an American soldier, and he was one of the pilots sent to the Philippines to help us in our battle. Unfortunately due to the amount of Japanese, and because they could almost cover the whole of Bataan, at that time our Filipino and American soldiers failed in the struggle causing them to be captured by the Japanese and taken hostage in April 1942, and one of them was the soldier Dias. A few days later, after their capture the deluge of these captives will begin because of this the famous Bataan Death March will take place from Bataan. The Japanese will take the captives they captured numbering 80,000 people to Capaz, Tarlac, by walking to San Fernando, Pampanga, with a distance of more than 100 kilometers. They walk their captives under the vertical sun, and what is even worse is that in the six days of their walk they only once fed and watered their captives. Thousands died of hunger and thirst, but the Japanese don't care about it because when they try to ask for food and water, they will shoot you in front of other captives so that others will not follow suit. Arriving in Tarlac, nearly 20,000 captives died due to hardship and fatigue. A few days later, Dias was transferred to a prison in New Eva Asija, where he stayed for several months, dense and dirt prisons. Here he saw that the Japanese were not really humane to their captives, until he was transferred to Davao in November 1942. When he arrived in Davao, he was able to breathe more easily in the field, because the prison was fresher. Compared to New Eva Asija, they were also able to walk freely inside the prison camp and outside the prison they were able to plant vegetables, and they can also take care of animals such as chicken, to feed the Japanese soldiers. Here he met other American captives, so he felt even better, but he still could not forget the atrocities he witnessed in the Japanese, and he knew that at any time they could kill them. So he devised a plan to escape here, along with nine American captives, and two Filipinos he talked to them, and he shared his plan. Dias noticed that the afternoon guards trusted his fellow Filipinos, who's farming outside the cage, because they can come in and out of the cage anytime they want. Moreover, whenever they go to the farm and poultry, there are no guards following them, so he will try to take advantage of the opportunity this. For several months Dias accompanied and other American soldiers to pick vegetables outside the jail. They did it for almost four months so that they could gain the trust of the Japanese guards, until one day he realized Dias that he needed to do his plan. On April 4, 1943, Dias informed the guards that they had to pick vegetables to feed the Japanese soldiers who were going to the jail. The next day along with nine American soldiers and two Filipinos they came out of the jail, carrying their sacks to hold vegetables. Arriving at the plot, they picked vegetables as usual, they spent some time here until it got dark, and when they noticed that there was no guard around the field, they quickly ran into the forest without a weapon or even a light during those times, and their only guide was the moonlight from above. They ran run even without direction, because they did not memorize the place, all they wanted was to get away from the jail. On the other hand the Japanese guard found out about their escape, so he released the soldiers to chase them a few minutes later. They passed by a watery mud that seemed to be part of the river they crossed it slowly. They avoided any noise because they already knew that the Japanese might be chasing them, but unexpectedly the mud was not safe because they had no light. They did not notice that it was a nest of crocodiles. They were just surprised when one of their companions suddenly shouted because he was wrestling with a crocodile. They quickly helped him to escape and they also hurried out of the mud while the crocodiles chasing them and ran again in the forest. But the noise from the shout of their comrade would serve as a thorn in their imminent escape. Because with that shout the Japanese soldiers already knew their whereabouts. They quickly ran to the source of the noise. 
At arriving there they saw traces of mud leading to the forest, so they followed them. While Dias and the other prisoners tirelessly ran through the dark and dense forest, they ran. As if there was no tomorrow they used all of their remaining strength. Unbeknownst to them, the Japanese soldiers who were chasing them were no longer far behind them. A few moments later they heard gunshots here, and they saw the Japanese soldiers chasing them. They could see the lights it was carrying approaching them. A series of gunshots fired behind them, causing them to stop and fall to the ground. Then they threw their faces to the ground. While covering their ears, they knew that it would only take a few seconds. They knew that in a few seconds the Japanese would reach them, and certainly their death. They were all silent as they waited for their time, while some of them were still hugging and praying until they heard gunshots from in front of them. They were surprised by what they heard because they knew that the Japanese were behind them. At raising their heads, their hope of survival was rebuilt. They saw in front of them the Filipino guerrillas fighting with the Japanese who were chasing behind them. There are many of them and they did not stop shooting at the Japanese opponents. Slowly, they crawled towards the place of the guerrillas. When they reached them, here they breathed a sigh of relief. Meanwhile, they heard that the gunfire was gradually weakening from the Japanese, a sign that their opponents were retreating. A few minutes later they finally disappeared and retreated. Their escape was successful with the help of the guerrillas they raised their guns as a tribute to their victory. Despite this Dias remained with this group for three months before he could finally return to America. At arriving in America, he told his story in front of the media. He was also the first person to expose the inhumane practices of the Japanese, especially during the Bataan Death March, where thousands of soldiers and civilians died at the hands of Japanese. In addition, Dias also provided important information to the American soldiers, and it has been a great help reason to finally end the Japanese conquest of the Philippines in September 1945. The war ended with the help of Allied groups. The Japanese were convicted of the war crimes of some generals of the Japanese army who were irresponsible for the torture and death of their captives. Eventually we witnessed the damage brought on and caused by a war. Many lost their lives just so we could fight for our peace from irrational beliefs and misunderstandings. They said that war would do no good.